Multiple sclerosis is typically diagnosed during young adulthood when people are in their 20s and 30s. However, the disease is very diverse and could span the lifespan in terms of when it begins. So children as young as five have been diagnosed with MS and uh, adults as old as 70s, in their 70s or 80s have been diagnosed with MS. As you age, multiple sclerosis changes in terms of how it expresses itself in terms of symptoms and neurological deficits. In young adulthood, MS takes on what we call a relapsing remitting course. So people experience self-limited episodes of neurological symptoms, whether they be loss of vision in an eye, different patterns of numbness or weakness, gait and balance. Generally, those symptoms last weeks to months, but then resolve, often completely, sometimes partially. However, as people with MS enter middle age, they stop having those episodic symptoms and begin experiencing a slow, relentless decline in neurological function. We call that progressive multiple sclerosis.